We live in the ultimately shameless world today. The world in which streaming videos off of any website are mo available on your mobile device. The age in which the pornography industry is a multi-trillion dollar industry. The point of which, the agenda of which is to make sure every one of you is a consumer of filth in one way or another. That every man, woman and child is exposed to this stuff and they're hoping you are so you become addicted to it so you become yet another consumer. This is, this, is the, this is the gift of pornography to society. It's creating people, turning people into animals and perverts. And some of you unfortunately have that addiction. And you're watching this stuff online. And you're watching it and saving it on your apps and your mobile devices. And you don't feel bad about it anymore. You've justified it to yourself. And you feel bad about it once in a while, but you go back to it. And as a re you think, oh, well, I'm not, at least I'm not hurting anybody. At least I'm not doing it to anybody else. I'm just watching this stuff. It's okay, but you know what's happening to you? Inside your soul is being just gutted. You have no soul left inside of you. So your prayers are empty and you can't even shed a tear in your salat because your heart is so devoid of the fear of Allah because of the filth you've been watching all this time. It's turned you from a human being into an animal. So you can't even look, you, a woman passes by and you, look, you, you see a piece of flesh walking by. You don't see a human being walking by that deserves respect. You check everybody out and everything out. You're, you're constantly gawking and staring. You, can, you have a hard time putting your eyes down. When you're on the subway, when you're on campus, when you're at work, you're walking down the street, you know, you just can't help. You see a billboard, you look at you take a second look, you see a third look. You don't miss any opportunity to just to, to, to violate your soul with your eyes. You just, you're addicted completely. And then you say, brother, how do I get khushua and salat? What world are you living in? What world are you living in? Specifically my brothers. And I know some sisters have this issue too. It's not a, it's a sad reality. This is a war. This is a war. This is more dangerous than any military war. This is the war that's destroying our souls. It's making its way into our homes. It's making its way, you know, if I want to protect my children from this stuff as much as possible. But when my child goes to school, and it doesn't matter if it's Islamic school, there's a very high statistical likelihood that someone, a friend, uh, with their iPod, with their mobile device, will say, hey, look at this. It's a, it's a very realistic you know, a, a thing nowadays. It's not far-fetched. And so I have to prepare my children for the filthy world that they're, they're going to be brought up in. And there's no escape from this stuff anymore. There isn't. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. You have Islamic lectures followed up by, you know those YouTube puts those follow-up clips? And something will be filthy. Something will have to be filthy. And I don't think that's by accident. I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, but I'm not, I don't think that stuff is an accident. And what happens to you guys is you watch a video, you see something filthy, you click it, you click something else, you click something else, and you end up watching disgusting things. And I know some of you have tried to quit before and you go back. And you've tried to quit before and you go back again. And you go back again and you keep falling into that trap. I know some of you have done that. You know, and you're struggling with it. But don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. And whatever it takes, if you just don't be alone. Don't be by yourself. Be with good friends. Be outside. Do, study somewhere else. Go to the library and study. Go somewhere where other people are around. Because you're, when you're by yourself, shaitan gets you. And if the fear of Allah isn't enough for you, at least the fear of other people will work for you. At least something's better than nothing.